Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm John Mercado. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. Today is Thursday, January 5th, 2023, and we are here with your morning announcements. The COHS Counseling Department, along with Cal Soap, will be hosting a Cash for College workshop to assist seniors on completing their financial aid application. The Cash for College workshop will be held on January 19th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the COHS Career Center, located in Student Services. If you had a GPA of 3.75 or above and did not get an academic pin in December, drop by the leadership room right outside the MP room to come pick it up. If you're interested in joining the CO track team, an informational meeting will be held on Wednesday, January 11th after school in HD9. Now let's pass it on over to Damon and Angelina for In the News. Good morning, I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm Damon Ramos, and we're here with your In the News update. Today is the third day of voting in the House. After six rounds, none of the candidates have gotten enough votes to be elected Speaker of the House, needing a majority of 218 votes or more to win. Republican Kevin McCarthy is attempting to make negotiations to win votes, while Democrats will reportedly not exchange concessions from the GOP to try and elect a Speaker. The Biden administration has announced new policies at the southern border on Thursday that will bar more immigrants from Cuba, Haiti, and Nicaragua from crossing the border to claim asylum, while increasing the number of legal pathways for those migrants to apply for asylum from their home countries. The Biden administration will be sending migrants from each of the three countries back into Mexico per month, while allowing for 30,000 asylum seekers from each of the three countries admits to live and work in the U.S. for two years. An atmospheric river and bomb cyclone are set to hit California, causing high winds, snow, heavy to excessive rainfall, flooding with debris flows, and landslides. Yesterday morning, Governor Gavin Newsom signed a statewide emergency declaration to help agencies send aid and resources where they're needed. The coasts and valleys are expected to see around two to four inches of rainfall, and power outages have been happening and may still occur. Russian President Vladimir Putin on Thursday ordered Moscow's armed forces to observe a 36-hour ceasefire in Ukraine this weekend for the Russian Orthodox Christmas holiday, the first sweeping truce move in this 11th month war. Putin did not make a ceasefire order with Ukrainian agreement, so it wasn't clear whether hostilities would actually halt on the nearly 700-mile front line. Thursday's order was the first time he directed his troops to observe a ceasefire throughout Ukraine. The ceasefire was based on the fact that a large number of citizens professing orthodoxy live in the combat areas, and they called on the Ukrainian side to declare a ceasefire and give them the opportunity to attend services on Christmas Eve and on the day of the Nativity of Christ. That's all we have for you this week. I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm Damon Ramos. Back, Back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Very interesting news, guys. Softball players conditioning is starting from Monday to Friday of next week from 4 to 5.30 p.m. They will be meeting in the weight room and make sure to bring your running shoes, workout clothes, and some water. Hey, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, you are invited to attend the 2023 AP Information Night being held through Zoom on January 12th. The Zoom meeting will provide you with all the information about the AP courses being held next year. We highly recommend you to attend. More knowledge it won't hurt. The Elk Grove Unified School District is hosting a spring hackathon on February 11th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The languages that will be used are Python, C++, and Java. Maximum members on a team is three, lunch will be provided, and the first 20 to sign up will receive a free t-shirt. Tickets for the Winter Homecoming is available for purchase from today to the 20th of this month. $15 with ASP, $20 without, and $30 for guests. It will be held on January 21st, and please wear semi-formal attire. Again, I'm Jonah Mercado. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, wolf pack. pack. Ka-ka!